Hello, I'm Mark, one of Altium's industry experts, and this is a rapid tutorial on RF impedance matching in Altium. Impedance matching starts at the schematic level. I have these parameter sets on my nets, which have a net class on them. To add one, go to Place, Directives, Parameter Set. In the Property panel, give the parameter set a name like RF. You then need to add a net class that can be used in the PCB rule, so under Parameters, click Add, Net Class, and then give it a name. I like to name the net class the same as the parameter set. This parameter set then needs to be added to every single net segment you want to have this impedance rule apply to. Save your schematic files, and then you need to update the PCB to add the net class to the nets. Go to Design, Update PCB Document, and you will see the new net classes applied to the nets. Apply the changes. Before doing any routing of these nets, you will need to tell Altium about the impedance profile. We start at the Layer Stack Manager. You can get there quickly by right-clicking on a layer at the bottom of the window and clicking Layer Stack Manager. I have already set my layer stack to match the manufacturer's impedance matched layer stack up. It's important to make sure the dielectric is set correctly here, as well as the copper and substrate thickness. Click the Impedance tab at the bottom of the window, then add Impedance Profile, or click the plus at the top. This creates a default impedance profile of 50 ohms, which is exactly what you want for RF. Give the profile a description. I like to give it the same name as the net class. You can see that the conductor width for each layer has been automatically calculated. You can now close the layer stack editor. Clicking with the middle mouse button on a tab will close it. Next, we need to set the design rules Altium will use to route our RF traces with the correct impedance. Go to Design, Rules. Then add a new routing width rule. This rule should be at the top of the list. Give the rule a sensible name, such as RF. Then set the rule to match a net class. Select the RF class. Then all that is left to do is select the impedance profile to use for the width. You can see this has set the width for each layer correctly. You can apply these rules and close the window. Altium will now recheck the board against all the rules. You can now route the RF traces on the board. Control W will start interactive routing or click Route Interactive Routing. In the property window, we can see that the width has been automatically set for this RF trace. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like if you found this helpful. If you're looking for a component library to use with Altium, please take a look at my open source Celestial database library with over 120,000 components. You can find the link in the description. If you have ideas or requests for another quick tip or tutorial, or have a better way to impedance match a trace within Altium, please leave a comment.